All right, here's a Lakewood table fan model 12,000A in my mom's bedroom. I put this over here a little bit before I left to the Dominican Republic in the summertime due to uh, my mom's brother and her his son and son's brother staying over. So my mom moved to the dining room to sleep on an air mattress and she took the Hampton Bay table fan. Well, she asked me to give her a fan to use over there and I figured this would be the best time to put it something else in her room that would be better and match better. And she took the table, hand to table fan and then we put it in the kitchen. Afterwards, or the night guy that was watching the animal, the birds and fish while we were away, he put it over there for the birds. Which I was thinking about doing that when I got back anyway, so it actually worked out perfectly. But I'm back to this fan. I've been wanting to put a brown fan over here to match better with the dresser. And this match room better because there's really not, nothing over here that's white except for the door frames and such. And I figured something brown would look best over here. A brown and tan fan like this one. And I ended up putting this over here. Because it's also, it also it's a stronger fan. I figured I'd put something a little bit stronger over here. Even though the hand to table fan does move a lot of air. I figured I'd put something that's just a tiny bit stronger for my mom. Especially in the summertime. But um, she never had any complaints about the hand to pay table fan except for the fact that when it gets dirty, you can see the dust on the blades very easily since it's white. On this fan, you won't really have that issue, so I figured this will be good for her. So she doesn't really like seeing the dust on them that much. So um, yeah. Out of all my vintage table fans, this one might be in the best shape cosmetically. And, mecha and mechanically too. It does need a tiny bit of oil, but... This one's almost in pristine condition. Here's the information on the bottom. <clears throat> Alright, let's start off on the low. Now when I first found this at um, Savers, the fan barely ran at all. I had to let it run for a bit so the motor could loosen up. Um, it's usually the case for most vintage table fans that we get in. And um, after I got it myself, I put some oil in it and it ran better. But I saw this and I was like, you know what? It's very, it's not often we see, I see wake words coming to savers like this. So I figured I'd get it because I also wanted to have the brown version too. So I figured that was the best opportunity. And I actually have a permanent home for it. Or a permanent location for it until I move out of this apartment. Oh yeah, when I get my own place, I'll probably put like put this in an office or something like that. That's probably what I'm gonna do with this. All right, now to have it oscillating. Now the plug on this one is a little bit newer. It's not, this is not an older version of the Lakewood. It's, I guess it's from like either the mid to late 80s. I'm not sure how long they made this version for, or how long they were selling it for. But yeah, none of the um, plastic sl slats on this one are, are broken at all, which is another reason why I got this. For some reason, no matter how much I adjust it, it always, also, it's more in that direction compared to this way, no matter how much I adjust it. There's not much you can do, and, and my mom doesn't really use it on oscillating anyways. Medium. Just get it on a medium speed. Usually, this is the speed my mom will leave it on, either on medium or low speed. It's very rare that she uses it on the high speed.
possibly. I always wonder if they actually sold these in the Dominican Republic as well. Cause I know they do sell Lakewood down there. Or they used to, I guess. I've seen like the Lakewood box fan down there, the one that's been painted over. So I wonder if they ever sold these in the Dominican Republic back then as well. Wouldn't surprise me if they did in all honesty. Alright, now for the high speed. And the thing definitely cranks out a lot of air on a high speed. Now to shut it off and do spin down. And yeah, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more videos to come.